Retro Games and Collectors! It is Old Gamer back for my final pickups video. Um, just to give you a quick note, this will be my last um, pickups video, what I'll be doing. I've decided to um, terminate my um, pickups video because I think they're a bit boring. <laughs> I do watch uh, people's pickups, which I do enjoy, but I think mine are a bit plain and boring. So, Instead, what I'm going to do, I'm doing what um, Steve Benway does on his channel. I'm going to do a Sunday talkie, gaming related, every Sunday. And in between, there'll be some like one or two gameplay videos. I will be doing a, a Street Fighter, which I did say I was going to do like a week ago. But I'm going to wait for the um, football to finish, then I'm going to start up. And there'll also be um, Killer Instinct as well when Season 2 starts. I definitely want to do that as well. And the other like bits and pieces, and I'm going to record it from my um, laptop. Um, uh, well, the um, old games are well with me. Um, Xbox, I'm going to use the Xbox to record it, and my Ultra Street Fighter, I'm going to use my web. I'll have to use my webcam. But other games, which I can just use an emulator and record it from my um, computer, which is a lot better. And I've just, and I've got my Turtle Beaches X12 down there, which. I'm going to hook up to my laptop so you can hear my voice. I'm just going to like test it on that this week. And I'm just going to play it back and make sure I've got the volume set right. So, <laughs> for my final pickups video, oh yeah, and I'll be putting a link to my Facebook page down below. I'll be um, posting all my um, any games what I get, new systems what I get. I'm going to post photos of them. In, on my Facebook page so if you're interested just click on the link down below so let's get started I'm gonna start with the only Xbox 360 game and this was only a pound and this was Brink and it's all complete and my next one is from Car, Car Boot Sale and shame it's missing the manual and it's the Thief I did nearly pass this up, it was only a pound, but because it was missing the manual, I thought, shall I pass it up or wait? And then I thought, sod it, just buy it, it's only a quid. And I looked back at the disc, and the disc is in mint condition as well. There's a little tear top, whoops, just there, as you can see it. And I know it's on the artwork as well, but it's a very little tear. The box is a little bit damaged, but. I can easily replace it, I just buy a cheap ass sport game. The disc is in mint condition, I'm marking it, which made me think again and thought, so did just buy it and I'll keep an eye out in case I come across a complete one because I don't want to pay £10 what they're going to either. And the next two are from St. Gemma's Hospice, and these were only 30p each. And the first one up is Mafia, and these are all complete. Really nice condition. And my next one off, which is is also complete. The disc has some light scratching, but I thought 30p the case is worth by itself. And that's Time Splitters 2. I do have a Time Splitters game, but it's not this one, it's the last one they did. I can't remember what it's called now. I've got I know I've got it in my um, box down below. And this is all nice and complete. I love the Time Splitters game. Just some light scratches on the disc, but I've I've been playing and it, it's playing fine so far. But 30p, I thought well the case is in really nice condition, <laughs> so I'll just thought I'll buy it. Now we'll move on to the NES, and I know two of them have come from a well-known YouTuber as well, and I've even got some box porn as well. <laughs> and the first one up, well, I've got. Start one of the loose carts, and the first one looks Red Racer. I'm assuming this is the French first because it's got FRI. I don't know if my camera's going to focus it. I don't know, I'm going to say complete them for a minute. <laughs> it's not, it's in really nice condition. Yeah, some label porn there. And the next one, which is an American version, and it's got Mario, the first one, and Duck Hunt, which I can't play, so I play it on a 
a C or, um, an LCD TV, and it it runs because I know my NES is modded to play imports. Really nice, labels in really nice condition. So if you're in America, you better watch out on keeping on games over there as well, overseas. And this was only this was a UK seller selling NTSC games, and this was only I think this I won this dead cheap. In fact, I was shocked at the price I got it. It was two pound postage, and I was the only bidder, so I got it for two ninety nine. And I'm really dead chuffed with that because I'm sure Mario itself goes for ten quid. Um, my next three, which came from the same seller. And he did have a picture of these, as if to say they're working, but when I um, opened them, because I always open them and clean them, I was shocked because they were really dirty. And one of them, which is going to be the next, well, actually, two of them. The next one I'm going to show you after this one took me about 15 minutes to clean, and the one before, really dirty. That took me a good half an hour to clean the pins and that. But the first one, which I won't bother about, because I have the Mega Drive version. And I was, and this was all one job lot. I was only interested in the other two. And the first one is Jungle Book, which I already have on the Mega Drive. I have played this a little bit, and it's it's actually not a bad port. And yeah, some more um, label porn. <laughs> it's actually good, and it's a, a three. Is it a three pin? I know some of them are a five pin, if I remember right. I'm not massively clued up on NES games. Now my next one, which, which I was, I want, which I definitely wanted in my collection, and that's um, Disney um, Chip Chippendale. Oh, labels in really nice condition, and that, and these, and it took me a while to um, clean the pins, but they're all nice and clean now. <laughs> and the final which I got from the seller, which took me a good half an hour because it was really dirty. And I reckon the pictures what he took of the um, games, I reckon he's taken over someone else because there's no way, especially this one, this could have worked in an NES console. It was that dirty, the pins. And this is um, Tailspin. Oops. Go on camera. Focus. And this is also a 3 pin. Some, um, some, lab some more label porn. Really nice. I have to say, one rule that I'm going when I with loose carts is the label has to be in really nice condition because I don't want to buy them to like rip or whatever. I have my next two, which are from a well known YouTuber, Monkey Spaz5000. I've already given you positive reviews on these. You haven't given me one yet, have you? The <laughs> um, next one, up, which. Well, yeah, I'll show you this one. This is the last one I bought from him. I have got another one there which I bought from Monkey Spaz 5000. And this is Ed the Adventure Island 2 for the NES. And I certainly didn't need to clean pins on these. I know I did message him the one before, say, Oh, can you make sure pins are nice and clean? Because I spent like, between those games, I spent like a bloody hour on them cleaning. And he says, Don't worry, they're already cleaned anyway. He cleans all these games. Labels are all nice, and I know some of you know he's been um, selling off his Nintendo his cart games. I know I have to say I, this is the only one I've played of um, the eventual. I never played Diana any others, and I'm sure there's only three of them. But I, this is the first one I played, and I quite enjoyed it. And the next one, which is from Monkey Spaz, and I've put it in one of these protective things. And it is Turtles 2 Arcade. Absolutely love Turtle game. I'm on after the third one now. The third one, I'm, I want to get hold of the third one. Oops. Hey, oh, the screen's gone dark. That's it. That's some, um, once again, perfect from Monkey Spurs. Oh, there's only a tiny little bit of, a little bit of lift. Tiny. There's only like a little nip. Let's 
nothing is that but so there you go from monkey spaz 5000 I'm sure most of y'all most y'all know him anyway now get your hankies out and that get ready for some box porn I'm an ex from a final game and I only paid three pound more what the loose cat goes and it is the low gravity man or low G man and it's came in a case protector and this is definitely up retro Dave's standard so get ready for box porn this is in really nice condition it came from another seller as well there you go retro Dave's not the only one with box porn <laughs> that really nice condition this is why I was willing to pay the extra three pound and it came with case protector as well look at that there's a little bit of a, a crease on there but look at that really nice oops Colin that's it Get it right I'll just open it up And there you go. Well, that manual's in there and protector for the. Um, don't have the um, Tiffy bag, but it has everything else. And it is absolutely mint. And I only paid uh, with the um, price and the um, post is what I paid. It was only like three quid more than a loose copy. And I thought, hell with this, I'm bidding on that. <laughs> and I sniped it and won it. And dead shot. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my last pickups video. I'll be, I've got some. Uh, I've got an, another console coming. Just the base unit. I have the um, console. And what I've got coming, I've already got. But there's a reason why I'm buying it. I do have all the leads, and I have the console down there. And I've also got uh, another game, and also a bit later on in a few hours when Cabo starts at twelve, I'll be hopefully picking up one or two games at least. That'd be nice if I find some games for Xbox. And um, that's it for my final pickup. There will be a gameplay video coming up middle of the week. I'm going to run it just through myself and then make sure I've got my um, microphone volume set. Because the last time I tried it, which was based on the emulators, my volume was too low. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure I'll turn it up. And it's um, all good. So. Once again, I'll post a link down below if you're interested, if you want to know what I pick up. And I'll post uh, as soon as I get stuff. So next week you will see the um, other console I've got. And I'll put my other one side by side so you know it's not the same console I've got. So you, so you know. And, I've all, and I'll post uh, all the any games what I get and stuff. So I will see you uh, next week for my first um, Sunday Talker. Well, face to face on cam. I will have a gamepad video which will be uploaded probably around about the middle of the week. But you'll just hear my sixty voice, you won't see my image of me because I ain't got the software that can do that. Anyway, so I will see you anyway face to face on the camera next Sunday. And I will see you soon. Bye!